frequent pesticide use around the home can be dangerous to your kids' health. And here with more is Dr. Walter Crinion from the Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine. It's good to have you here, Dr. Crinion. Good morning. It's good to be here. A lot of my girlfriends and I, we talk about this a lot, you know, the organic versus the, the uh, stuff, that you, the other stuff. Yeah. And you brought, <laughs> this is interesting because what you have on the table here, the strawberries, the grapes, and the raspberries are my kids' favorite fruits. Exactly. And you're saying, be careful. I am saying be careful uh, because pesticides, the, the most common class of pesticides in use today are the organophosphate pesticides, which you may not know, but that came out of nerve gas from World War I. Oh. And the, it, so it was developed to kill people. And that's what they spray on these to keep them green and looking good? Well, to keep, because it kills the pest by knocking out its nervous system. They're neurotoxins. Not good. And so why feed your children with a growing nervous system neurotoxins? Wow. Doesn't, and actually, children who are overexposed have, that's one of the reasons that some children now, have, we have higher rates of childhood brain tumors than previous generations. What about washing them when we get them home? Is that not good enough? Well, there are some ways that you can wash these. Now, what I brought is examples of the 12 most toxic fruits and vegetables, which unfortunately, as you pointed out, <laughs> Or like, things you really love to eat. Yeah, the kids' favorites. Exactly. Apples. Apples, which, you know, an apple a day is supposed to keep right. the doctor away. Maybe not if it's toxic. Uh, pears, peaches, nectarines. Over here we've got spinach. If Popeye were alive today, he would probably be chronically ill. Celery, potatoes, bell peppers, all the things that we love. Right. Now, there are some ways to walk. Now, if you peel... Right. You can, you, by peeling, you can remove a lot of the pesticides. What about that soap and the scrubbing that they sell at the stores? Does that work? That doesn't work so well, but if you get an acid wash, which you can do, tub, a water, distilled vinegar. Distilled vinegar? Get a scrub brush. How many moms do that? No offense. I, I know. But we're know. always hurrying, and just to get healthy, we're thinking, my kids are eating healthy, but then it's like, but are they? Yeah, so there have been actually several studies done on children, and when children switch to the organic varieties of these, they stop having pesticides coming out in their urine. Wow. So you can actually, the biggest source of pesticide exposure for kids and adults is, is these top 12 foods. Yeah. So uh, really, this is what one would want to spend their extra money or, for organic budget. Okay, that's what I was going to ask yeah. you, because I, the other day, it's funny, I was looking at the organic versus the not organic strawberries, I'm like, about a dollar fifty difference. So that's where you spend on the organic strawberries, you spend extra on the organic apples, on the organic peaches, and there are many uh, stores that have, yeah, uh, this now. have frozen organic, now this is frozen organic spinach, now obviously it's not going to do good in a spinach salad, right. but for making a dinner, it's excellent, and you can get frozen strawberries and frozen peaches organically at your local grocery store. You know, my people might be thinking, well, my kid only has a couple strawberries a week and maybe a handful of grapes here and there, but you add that up, and it can really be a, a large amount. And, you know, kids nowadays exactly. are picky eaters, and more and more people have problems with their kids. So if you're getting strawberries and they like them, I tend to give my kids a lot of strawberries because I know they're eating it. But it's probably not the healthiest thing if it's not organic. Exactly, because, again, they have neurotoxins on Gosh, them, which you really want to Probably do not that. a great idea. Right, and I deal with environmental medicine, so that's where people have these little bits of everyday buildup of pesticides or breathing in the pollution solvents and they get chronically ill that's what I deal with all the time at the Southwest Clinic do they see it mostly after you know like my my kids are seven and ten like when they're in their 20s all of a sudden the stuff starts kind of popping up or does it pop up even younger? well when I started out it was people in their 30s 40s and right. 50s but these toxins build up in our bodies and they get passed through to our children a recent study showed there are over 200 toxic chemicals in the cord blood going to newborns. So they're starting, that's why they're having more problems with autism, ADHD, um, the brain tumors, asthma, allergies. Mm -hmm. And so the buildup of toxins is associated with very common problems, asthma and allergies, headache, depression, fatigue, you know, some very common problems. And as people get older, the autoimmune reactions, um, certain cancers, you know. Scary stuff. So and you were talking about stuff. it's not even just this food. We were talking about, what was the word you mentioned with the water bottles? There's now a scare with Oh, right, the new the one. Plastic. Bisphenol A, which is uh, actually, it's a hormonal 
it's an estrogenic compound and it's in the Nalgene. So the water bottles everybody has. And, and um, on Tuesday, the Canadian government said, this is bad. The American government said, well, the research says it's bad, but we're not sure. Mm. But yes, it is a toxic compound. The plasticizers from uh, plastic wrap in our food, all those things that we now are in us. We have plastics in us. We have diesel exhaust in us. We have all these things in us. Let's try to lower the load. And one of the other interesting facts is that there's less than 1% of the pesticide that's sprayed gets to the target pest. Wow. So where does the other 99% Enough. plus go to? Wow. In our food. Let me ask you something. Let's say I am on a budget and can afford the organic stuff. Are there any fruits or vegetables that would be safe if they weren't organic to give to my kids? Absolutely. And one of the, the on the least toxic list, broccoli. Really? Yes. Now, not that that my kids will absorbing. eat them. absorbing. Well, it's a type of what chemicals would be put on it. So it's, a, it's on the low toxic corns, okay. on the low toxic mm -hmm. onions. But the um, mangoes. Good. Pineapple are all on the least toxic list. Because they have that list. thick skin over it, right? Yeah, bananas are on the bananas. least toxic okay. list. So those are all good. So anything with like a thick skin that's protecting that fruit, probably the pesticides well, won't get into that. Could okay. be. It also depends upon the type of pest that that crop would be prone to getting and what kind of chemicals they use for it. My kids are going to eat a lot more pineapple because they love pineapple. Yeah. Now, there is a good list online at okay. www.ewg.org. Okay. They have shopping lists there. All right. Well, that's good information. So if you can go organic, go organic. And if you, for some reason, cannot really scrub, like you said, with the, that with vinegar just, wash. Vinegar, it's very cheap. Yes. Okay. So go ahead and scrub it. Scrub when it. I can't get the organic bell peppers, which I love to cook with, that's what I do. Okay. Well, I scrub them. And then that's getting most of it out of there. Yes, up, up to 95%. Okay, well, it. thank you so much. Very good information. It's a little scary, too. Yes, but it's well worth it. To, you're to armed educated. with good information. Yes, so now you can go for it, because that's what my kids love the most. So that play, I'm like, oh, that's my kids' favorites. Exactly. Right so I just look at them as little pesticide sponges. That's right. So use that's the, what, use that's the what those are. Use the organic, and then your children won't be pesticide sponges. All right, thank you so much. Very nice welcome. to see you. And if you would like more information on the Southwest College of Naturopathic Medicine, just go to scnm.e edu mm -hmm. forward slash med center. Write it down. It's a lot of stuff. Or you can just call 480-970-0000. That's even easier. Thanks it's again. very easy. <laughs>